All right, Shalom. I want to um, first off give praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekab, Adash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Um, this video is inspired um, by, I was watching a, a video of a brother in my camp, and um, the first thing that came, he said, he made a statement. He said, Esau is on fire. So how much more, you know, we we should be on fire, you know? Esau, and it made sense because Esau, you know, every day he makes news articles, you know? He comes out, um, his media comes out with their point of view on things. They push uh, the narrative and they push uh, propaganda. And they push... Um, it's a little bit of truth in in everything, right? You could you could get truth out of everything. That's why it's a balance, you know. You sometimes you do gotta watch what you watch, you know. But I say it's truth in everything, you know, because you can learn um something out of um in that in every video, you know. Now it is a thing um called filing, you know. So it is a lot of folly going out here, folly going on um, around. Um, but um, I was concentrating on the word diligent, right? And um, I'm, I'm uh, um, well. First, first off, you know, let's get the scripture, and we're gonna look up this word. Well, uh, dil we, well, we on the page now, so diligent means having or showing care. Um. Yeah, it means having or showing care and consensuousness in one's work or duty. Diligent. Having or showing care and consensuousness in one's work or duty. So you got to have to. Uh, the, we do this work because we care. You know. You shouldn't look at it like, oh, I got to do it, you know. Like, like something that you don't want to do. That's being diligent, you know. Sometimes you have to force yourself to do it. Because we all get uh, weak and worry, you know. But show, but show some care, you know. Uh, the scripture that I wanted to get, get is uh, Proverbs. We're going to get a couple scriptures. Proverbs 13 and 4. And it reads, The soul of the sluggard desire and have nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. And that's self-explanatory, you know. If you if you sluggard, you know, like lacking, you know, it's a thing, uh, a word, uh, you know, Jake come up with these slangs. Oh, you lacking, you know? Because that's how the Heavenly Father speak. The Heavenly Father speak, uh, you know, the Heavenly Father and his son speak in parables and and, and um, parabol a parabolic way, you know? Jake said, if, if you lacking, you, if you slacking, you lacking, you know? Um, the early bird gets the worm, you know? Th that's basically what they're saying. The scripture break uh, saying the soul of the sluggard desire and have nothing. And, and hey, you got to work hard at what you get, you know. You got to work hard at it, you know. It says, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. So if you if you diligent, we just looked up the word diligent. If you um eager and it's and it's uh, truth, then you're going to. Uh, you're gonna see the results, you know. Don't don't lack on this uh on this job because this is one of the most import important things um we could ever do, you know. We working we working for the Heavenly Father. <laughs> Just think about it, you know. He chose us to to push his word. Cause ain't nobody else out in the world doing it, you know. And we come in and we have the the correct doctrine. So think of that. We got the truth over Esau. 
We got the truth over the two thirds and we got the truth over these other Israelite camps that claim they in the truth, that claim they pushing the truth. You know, they are pushing that, you know, we, we are Israelites, which is the truth, you know, but sometimes they go off on things, you know, real important things that, that uh, can lead the flock astray, you know? So let's go to um, 2 Timothy. Let's go to 2 Timothy, verse uh, 4 and 2. And um, this is a famous scripture, you know. All the scriptures are famous, but, you know, brothers brothers got, got certain scriptures that they like the most. Okay, this it reads, preach the word, be instant, in season and out of season. So what that mean? It says, preach the word, be instant. Instant meaning right there, you know, be, 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 be in front of um, people's faces, sort of. Be not hard to find, you know, be instant. Every time somebody, uh, every time I look for brother videos, they putting up videos. That means they instant, you know, you don't have to look too far, you know, oh, where this, where, where the next video? No, they Constantly, you know, pitting up the video, the water to the spirit of your how about shimmy, how was shy for, you know, a wearing, you know, the apostles on down to, 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 you know, push brothers to uh, pit up, get this train going on. It says be instant in season and out of season. That means when, when it ain't uh, feeling so nice outside, still be around. You know, in season, out of season. That means when it's, uh, you know, when it's, and it's important because the, the flock could get weak. The flock could get weak. And you, you, you don't want, we, we have to keep this thing strong. You know, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to be sluggish in this thing because everybody could get weak. You know, it says, uh, Reboot, it says reprove, reboot, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And one thing I can say is that I know brothers is long suffering. All of us in this truth is, is long suffering. We we waiting. You know, we waiting for, for for the for the Lord to come back. We waiting for the kingdom, you know. We we've been in uh Babylon for too long, a.k.a. America, Babylon the Great. What they say, make America great again? That's that's cold word for Babylon the Great, you know? The Heavenly Father has a sense of humor, you know? Uh, let's get another scripture. Let's get, uh, let's get John. John 21, John 21 and 17, John 21 and 17, we're going to start at 17, it says, all right, is this it, oh, I'm looking down to see if this, hold on, all right, um, Okay, instead of 17, we're going to start at John 21 and 14. All right. It says, this is now the third time, right? And this uh, scripture is talking about when the Lord already came back to life, you know, from the dead, you know. Um, it says, now, now, this is now that third time that Yahweh Shai shewed himself to, to his disciples. After that, he was risen from the dead. All right, right, yeah, okay. Now, now check this out, brother. It says, uh, so, so when they had died, Yahweh Shah said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Judas, Jonas, love, lovest thou me more than these? And he saith unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou know, 
knowest that I love thee? He said unto him, Feed my lambs. All right. Verse 16, he, say, he saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. So the Lord kept, hey, that's the second time the Lord said, feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, love, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time. So he was like, he probably was like, why is, your, why is the Lord keep asking me this? Like, don't he know I love him? You know? Don't he know I love him? So reading on, he said, uh, he said, Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. So Peter was like, you know that I love you because you know all things. You the Lord. Thou knowest all things that I love thee. Uh, Yahweh Shah said unto him, feed my sheep. So the Lord meant business. You know, it wasn't, you know, personal. That was business, you know. I guess you say it, it was, you know, personal too because he was saying, you know, you you know you love me, feed my sheep. That's what I want, personal, and that's what the Lord, Lord wants, you know. So that's our main duty in this thing, to, to, to push this word. You know, push this word, be instant, in season, out of season. Be hot with it. Be on fire, you know. You know, sometimes, you you know, we we we, we in this world, you know, we around all these demons, you know. So, of course, you know, we, we being realistic, you know. But, hey, our thing is to push this word. Esau, that's the main point. Esau is is uh pushing his news that's why this it, the brother video inspired me because you know he made that statement he said esau and it made sense esau come out with the, with the news every day you know esau come out with the news every day on on a on an hour and, and and we could put you know we should be hotter than esau which we are you know well the the, the children of this world are, are wiser than you know uh, the Lord's chosen people. So Esau, this world is, he got an upper hand on us, you know? But uh, that don't mean we we shouldn't be on fire, you know? But I hope this was edifying to the body. You know, Esau is is uh, is coming out with his news and we are the newscasters. We bring you this news every day. We giving you the real news that this place is going down, that uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are Israelites. You got a chance for repent, repentance. Come back to the Lord. Uh, submit to the Lord. And uh, you you might have a chance of salvation. You know, if you're the, if you're the chosen, if you're the elect, you will have uh, salvation. If you are the of the elect, you will have salvation. Shalom.